Hi there, welcome to the next ClickSense tutorial video. And in this tutorial video, we will going to look at uh, ClickSense iter number function. So this script function returns an integer indicating for which time one single record is evaluated in load statement with a while clause. So it's basically as the name suggests, it's based on the number of iteration it gives it increases uh, or identifies under which iteration you know the record is running the first iteration has a number one the item number function is only meaningful if used together with a while clause so let's see an example to better understand this so here we are in data and over here i have a very simple data set as you can see i have a star date which is uh, 2014 so it's y y y y m m t d so 22nd January 2014 to 26th January 2014 and let's say we need to create the number of dates between these two you know dates then we will going to use the while function or the while loop along with the uh, item number so how to do that well I'm going to use the preceding load so load and i will say iter number and this will basically create these symbol one two three four and it, we are indicating it as a day that it is day one two three four that's the output you will going to get and uh, then i will create a date let me come down um date and uh, within the within this we will specify the start date start date and we are increasing it by what item number right because that's the iteration uh, we will going to specify in a minute with the help of the while statement so date start date plus item number uh, and then minus one as date and you will just see in a minute and we will say while start date so we are specifying now the condition with the help of the start date um, plus iter number so we are increasing the start date minus one should be less than equals to what end date all right so let's evaluate what is happening over here first of all let me hit the uh, save and now let's see this so the key is the while loop where we are saying that the start date plus iter number that means it is increasing by one but we need to keep at the initial start date like 22 if we are not adding minus one it will move to 23 so that's why minus one is added so what we are basically saying that keep on increasing the start date as date until unless it is less than equals to end date and let's hit the load over here click close and let's come here create a simple table over here take a dimension which is day and take another column it's a dimension which is date all right it is messing up but i know why um let me hit save first data because there are previous scripts save load close i delete should be gone now yeah so earlier if you see when we started we just had the start date and end date and then we with the help of iter number and while loop as you is it mentioned item number function is only meaningful if used together with a while clause so with the help of these two we have created the dates between 22nd and 26 so many in many scenarios it will be super useful and uh, i hope you will be able to use it in in your real life scenario so that's about it in this video and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic